Bitcoin with the blue sky breakout. As we are here with the blue sky around me, we are going to be going into the Bitcoin chart. I will be going over the targets that we have. You know, is $100,000 realistic? Are we actually going to be seeing that this year? I'll be giving you my perspective on that very big target indeed, or whether we might actually fall short as we go into the halving and get a bit of a retracement first. I think we gotta be very prepared for that. And in this video, I also wanna be sharing with you some very nice tips that we have for trading these blue sky breakouts. To go with the background today, I also wanna end with a very special message. So I hope that you can stay around and listen to that message. And that will be towards the end of this video first. You, I all know why you're here. You're here for the targets. You're here for the trades. You're here for the technical analysis, what we, of course, have a passion and love for. So let's move back over to the charts together and analyze exactly what's going on. As always, I, as always, I will run this video in a bit of three parts. First of all, picking up where I left off my last technical analysis video and covering the price action since there. So we can gain, uh, you know, really a context of what's happening right now, as well as educating you on those moves. So you can use that knowledge in your future trade sticker. Then we'll move on to exactly what is happening now as we're trading up and around these new all-time highs. And then we'll end with what we're looking at next, okay? And the tips that we have for these blue sky breakouts that I wanna share with you, which I really do think will help you a lot. So picking up where I left off my last video, of course, this was a video on YouTube explaining how I had recently taken a long trade down here off of the liquidity grab of $60,000. Of course, I had previously just shorted here at $69,000. Once again, uh, the all-time high at that point. I was waiting patiently for the all-time high on Bybit. We got the new all-time high. I had a short trade. We fell 15% and I took a long. Something that I want to explain, obviously, while we were still trading in that Wait. section of the chart, seeing a move to the downside, I made an informed decision. And that was, of course, having taken that long trade, I ended up closing the short that I had taken prior to that. Why? Because in my honest expectation and opinion, we were going to meet and, you know, gain new all-time highs. And I just want to spend a few minutes really going into detail about this, okay? And it all comes back to the confidence and trading plan. And I repeat, how do I have my confidence that is off of my trading plans, right? So at the time, we had a short from the all-time high and a long from around $60,000 off of that liquidity grab, right? So when we're in that long and in a short at the same time as taking that, we have to make an informed decision, right? We can analyze the charts right now and say to ourselves, okay, what is the next highest probability? Of course, as we were getting that bounce off of 60K, I'm already telling my team, my honest opinion is that we will go on to make new all-time highs above $70,000. So if I am taking a long trade, and upon taking this long trade, you know, and I know I want to emphasize this because some people get very confused about it. And naturally, some people can get confused because they do not have that education. And so let me educate you. I had a short from $69,000, right? Took that off of a swing failure pattern of the all-time high at the time. Price dropped 15% to the downside. Very profitable short trade. Of course, on Bybit, you can hold a short and a long simultaneously. So while in this short, I saw the reaction here and it was wonderful. It absolutely gave the long trade entry based off of taking out $60,000, the series of lows ending in a swing failure pattern. Confirmed to my team, of course, live in the time upon taking that trade. That's exactly what I'm doing and entering the long trade. While price is still trading down and around here, I tell my team, you know, my honest expectation and prediction is we will go on to make new all-time highs above $70,000. So in that time, we need to then make our next informed decision, which would be, is there, let me, let me ask you rhetorically, maybe you already know because you're a member, but <laughs> try and forget you are for a second. In this moment, what would you be thinking? Would you think, okay, I'm going to hold on to this short stop loss above the high. If we bounce, I've hit my first take profit, I've secured a long, and I'll get out of that trade with a stop loss being here. Would you wait and see what happens or make a, another one of many decisions? Well, my decision was based off of the fact that I saw some strength and I didn't feel the need to hold on to a short trade with stop loss at entry or above the high when I am very confident that we are going to be making new all-time highs. So we are in this section of the chart, right? We're in this section of the chart. 
We've just taken, or just a few days prior, taken a short from here, long from here. We are then making an informed decision of closing the short, holding on to the long. Why? Because we are expecting new all-time highs to come, trading back up, you know, 71, 72, $73,000. There is no need, from my perspective, to hold on to that short any longer than necessary. And, you know, this is... This comes as a surprise to many. Why? Because, of course, I'm making that informed decision and telling everybody I'm closing the short trade here. Can you imagine what would have happened instead of me getting it right and we continue up? I tell everyone, close the shorts. We're going higher. But in fact, that had happened and we had had seen a massive drop to the downside. Of course, people would be up in arms and very frustrated with that decision that I made because it isn't Often, I will say, close the short early. That's just close for full profit. Don't even wait till stop loss. Uh, you know, I few and far times I will say that, okay, and it all comes off of the plan that I have and, and the confidence that I have based off of the plan, based off of the data that I have in front of my eyes, okay? So to repeat, we had a short from here, a long from here. Price gets a bit of a bounce. While going sideways within the triangle, I tell my team, close the short, we're looking for new all-time highs to come once more, okay? That is our trading decision. We're looking for above $70,000. We did long the dip. We had now closed that short trade. We're looking for new all-time highs and repeating day after day. Still in all the longs, not in any shorts, expecting new all-time highs, okay? Still in long and chill, no short trades at all. Then. So the 6th, 7th, 8th, here we are on the 11th. <laughs> and my plan still remains the same, right? I'm still absolutely long and chill. As I said, from the Champions live stream yesterday, again, while we were still trading at around $69,000, I tell everyone once again, during that stream, of course, I do a very in-depth, over an hour-long analysis, I remain higher time, time frame bullish. My bullish Elliott wave count is the highest probability. I have no short trades open at all. I remain in all my long trades and I am expecting new all-time highs to come as I write to you all on Twitter above $70,000. So there is no excuse to not be following along and killing the bear's dreams <laughs> along with me. Uh, if you are only subscribed on YouTube, make sure you come over and check out Twitter, right? Because I've been posting things over on Twitter which are, you know, very obvious and clear. Uh, so if you always want a little bit more of a recent update, check out Twitter, right? And so that means... Well, we, what that means is we were correct. We did go on and breach new all-time highs. So now we can start to focus on uh, exactly what I am looking at now and then what I'm looking at next. I just want to take this comment for a second. Uh, I'm at the peak of my cycle. Pleasure uh, pleasure to observe. And I will just say this. I, I honestly truly do feel this, right? I, I do feel that right now I am trading the best I have ever traded. I have a real connection with the market right now. I'm really looking at the market, feeling the market, and able to predict its next step. And some people might say this is magic, others might say it's, it's uh, I don't know, sure. <laughs> but people will have their opinions on this. I tell you this, it is simply because of technical analysis, understanding probabilities, and recognizing with the data that I have where price is going to go next. Can I be wrong? Yes. And I'm putting myself in a very honest, transparent position where if I'm wrong, everybody watching will know. You can clearly say Daniel was wrong on that call. I'm not hedging myself. I'm not saying might do this, might do that. But I've been very, very clear with such statements that I'm making on the regular, such as long and chill, such as closing all short trades, keeping all long trades open, expecting new all-time highs to come. You know, day after day, I'm making it very transparent, very clear exactly what I'm doing and the reasons why. So, you know, when I'm saying I am feeling like I'm trading the best I ever have, I, I, I truly mean it. I really feel like um, I am trading the best I ever have. And, you know, being able to instill that confidence with the viewer, with the members, you know, is, is obviously making that feeling even greater. And, you know, as I have been honest and transparent with my thoughts, I will continue to be honest and transparent with what I expect to come. So looking at what we have right now, let's take a look currently then at the order flow. So this is always nice to see together. We can see, surprise, surprise, we currently, this is on a 30 minute chart. In this candle here, we had uh, high volume, you see 158 million, but open interest decreasing. Then we see on this candle, just prior to the all time high, 5.7 million new shorts opening, which is actually followed by 18 million new longs opening, followed by this candle, 
14 million new shorts opening. Please can we just look at this together. This is four candles in a row, so two hours of price action. Open interest increasing a lot. On top of that, it's a mixture of shorts and longs opening. What does this tell you? This tells me the market right now is very undecisive, very undecisive. You have a lot of people thinking, I'm going to try and short here. And <clears throat> well, I would say this is more based off of hope right now. But you have a lot of people thinking, I'm going to short here and hope price drops. And of course, you've got the other half of the people also based off of hope saying, I'm going to long the breakout here and hope price goes up. Can you see both of these traders, in my opinion, the longs and the shorts are very much trading on hope. They might have a base plan, but the majority is off of hope. Why? Because you don't have any real reaction right now. You are consolidating on a lower term time frame very much sideways. So if you are longing here, you are hoping for a rise. And if you are shorting here, you are hoping for a drop. You don't really have a clear entry trigger or invalidation. Thus, I think that this is not the most sensible place for many traders to be trading. What could be something more sensible? What we could be actually waiting for is something such as a lower term time frame range, depending on your level of trading. Because again, people watching this video, are, some people are ultra new, have really no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> and we have a, the other group of people that are extremely advanced and, and could sculpt this as they're watching along with the video, right? So fast, fast difference in some of the audience that we have on this channel, which is brilliant, uh, as it is sometimes challenging for myself to, to convey the information that I want to share, um, convey in, in such a way that everyone can really understand. So if you are of a intermediate advanced level of trading, you can absolutely trade a lower term time frame range. What we start to look for with lower term time frame ranges is where that consolidation started to where we are now. We can really see that started the consolidation around London Open this morning. So here is London Open session. And really we can see this consolidation upward sloping, but really starting from London Open. So I'm starting my range low at London Open. And of course the range high has to be the current all time high. What we can we see here? Well, look at this ultra well respected middle of the range trading back into the middle of the range now we can start to add on a few trend lines right we can do that we can see we're now building up some higher lows well we are also building up higher highs right so we can do the same with the lows as we're doing with the highs and add on a bit of a trend line this is giving us a, a broadening wedge um not that helpful you might see this plastered all around youtube yeah, but, but honestly i don't think that that pattern is very helpful but hey some people might find it helpful so i share it uh, but I would really prefer to view this as, as, a, as a range. <laughs> you have the range low, you have the range high. Of course, you want to be looking at things such as the VWAP within here, which suddenly sat below the range low. This is your uh, boundaries, but I don't really see that sat at 70,700. Remember that the VWAP is always updating. But this is what I would think for your more intermediate advanced traders. This is what you've got to be looking at. You've got to be looking at these lower term time frame ranges, identifying these ranges, and then looking to take your trades. Okay. So rather than seeing, as we just saw, a multi millions of longs and shorts opening around here, which is right in the middle of that range, especially when you pull a fixed range, you can see, well, to be precise, everybody opening here. You can see that's not really the prime location to open, whether you're opening a long or a short here. You're almost trading in the middle of that range. Don't you think that it makes more sense to look for, if you want a short, to short towards the high? And if you want a long, long towards the low and not to get involved in the middle here. That is what I would say. And that is what I teach, of course. Um, we don't really want to get involved around the middle here. We want to wait for high probabilities. And again, you can long up here <laughs> and you can short up here, but at least you have a much better entry trigger in validation. And you're not just longing in the middle of the range and hoping for the best because hope is not a trading strategy that you can use consistently. Yeah, maybe you long here and we rise to 75,000. Maybe we short here and we drop to 60,000. That was totally based off of hope if you are trading here right in the middle. You need to wait for the best. Well, again, if you know a strategy that works for you that makes you money, so be it. I'm teaching what I know that makes me profits and uh, along with a thousand champions that have learned from me. And that is you wait for the top or lower boundaries of a range. Again, this is for the intermediate to uh, kind of expert level traders. It's not the easiest strategy. Why? Because you do need to be very understanding and reading of order flow. If you don't have that knowledge yet, of course, you can learn it with us. But for the meantime, I can share with you another 
uh, strategy that can be used with these all-time high blue sky breakouts, which I, of course, absolutely love. Uh, before I do that, I want to spend just a few minutes really reading uh, through something that is very important to myself. So that I do hope uh, it maybe can touch your heart and, and view upon it and reflect upon it as well. It's just going over an email that we sent out. Uh, so this was sent out to everybody. So the spectators, uh, contenders and champions, I believe. So everyone would have received this. And if not, then hey, it's also here on Twitter. I just want to read through this because I would like to reflect upon it ever so quickly. Uh, and then I will go over the blue sky breakout that we have. So uh, blue sky breakout, you can see the clouds opening above us as Bitcoin breaches $72,000. Wow, what a what a day. Um, so yeah, really, I, I wanted to just take a, oh, hopefully let's try and do this in two minutes. I will try and keep it quick. But, you know, I have learn a lot and I'm very proud and happy of where I am as a person and how my journey has come um but with that you know I, I'm always trying to reflect and with my reflections speaking them out loud can maybe positively impact somebody watching this and uh you know maybe uh, if at the very least a enable you to to get into a reflective mindset or a, an improving mindset of always trying to improve yourself so for me it's obviously focused here at trading chart champions right and we have grown a lot i think it's fair to say from a very very small niche you know handful of people community i started doing this to just one person alone right so from one person to here we are how many eighty five thousand people right it's been a good few years, right? And what we can say is with that growth, okay, we've gone from a very small community to, you know, I think it's um, arguably to say we are one of the uh, international powerhouses, leaders of the trading space, especially cryptocurrency, right? We're uh, up there with, with some of the best, let's say. And so during these years, of course, we've always received feedback and constructive criticism. I say it once and I say it again, I was sometimes naive to some of that feedback years ago. But with time and becoming more mature, I have understood how great this need for change truly was. And I needed to open myself up to accept that. Okay, change is, is very positive if you do this effectively. And yes, I have, of course, made mistakes in my trading. I've made mistakes in my personal life, but I hold, like to really hold myself head up high and say that I've learned many great lessons from those. And now we can become and start to become more focused, grounded, not let that ego get ahead of ourselves, especially myself, right? And so we needed, as I refer to chart champions, like other world-class coaches alongside me who can not only teach, okay, but also prove their results. We've all talked about this a lot, right? There's a technical analysis and there's a trader. We don't want a group of coaches that are technical analysis that can talk and talk and talk, but never prove the results. And that's why, of course, we have <laughs> now got a group of coaches that are able to prove their results, that have stood the test of time, that are able to do live trading and really show in the time, like thought processes, what's the, what's the reason behind the trades. And with that, of course, we have released other very important improvements. And just to refresh, if you're already unaware of this, we have, of course, reworked the contenders format. Now, all new educational videos are shorter in length and teach only the information you need to know. So they're very much condensed. OK, so we don't need to drag on one, one and a half, two hours, but we can condense that information so you understand as quickly as possible uh, the, the, the information that we want to share. That's obviously followed by a separate live stream later in the week. And we have also now introduced trade recaps where you can get into the mind of the coaches when they were trading live in the time. So if they're unable to show you on live stream, record the screen and upload it as a trade recap. We got the best of both worlds going on there. For those that are already familiar with our strategies, of course, with the Champions membership, you now have access to the ES and NQ. So if you're interested in trading the futures, we now have a large focus on ES and NQ futures, as well as the futures market in general, right? So if you're interested in the stock market, then we now have a lot of focus on that alongside, of course, as always, cryptocurrency, with now the newly introduced weekly dedicated altcoin live streams. With that, we now have the read-only coaches channel. So this is where you can see sharing some really nice plans with the champions, understanding the context, longs, shorts, and exactly what I'm looking at for the day ahead. That is the written update within the Discord. Of course, alongside that, we also have a daily live stream update. So every day you've got a live stream update to go along with the written updates inside of the Discord. So... You know, there's many, many other things that I could talk you through here. Of course, we have dedicated trading help, trading forms. We have a dedicated trading assistant. Everything which is newly added will be 
listed under the plan section of the website which you of course absolutely able to go and check this out now i'll leave a link in the description and with that i just want to say this of course we have heard your feedback we have implemented and uh, i honestly think that you are going to be very happy with the new turnaround and professional look of chart champions and really i'm being very honest we look forward to seeing you within our community again um, and I do know that you are going to absolutely love it. The changes are real and, you know, come over and see for yourself because I, I really believe that we can help you a lot with this new look and professional outlook of Chart Champions. So with that, I want to move and end on with the final segment, which is explaining exactly a strategy that we can be implementing with a Blue Sky Breakout. So I want to come up here on like a daily time frame. Of course, right now we're trading at an all time high. Is it recommended now for more aiming towards the beginners? Do I really think beginners should be looking for these shorts and the shorts and the shorts and the shorts? No. Most beginners really are better off trading with the trends. This trend is clearly up. And if you were a member of Chart Champions, you would have absolutely been long and chill and made over 100% profits during this move already. If you were a little bit late to the game, if you've not been following along with my long and chill biases, then it's not too late. Of course, you are in the market now and our best trade is always ahead of us. I would still say, you know, you can have this long and chill mindset. You know, I don't really say a beginner should be looking to short all-time highs. Why? Historically speaking, when Bitcoin breaks an all-time high, it gets very nice follow through. OK, times are different, of course, but statistically speaking, it gets nice follow through. So a beginner looking to short a all time high blue sky breakout, bullish uptrend, bull market, probably not the right strategy. So I would really say a beginner would be looking for signs of weakness and then you can look for your short upon a sign of weakness. Or alternatively, just hitting much higher, bigger, stronger targets. But really, a beginner would be waiting for weakness. OK, how do you recognize weakness? Well, that's a whole lesson on its own. But I would say for the very, very least right, trading back down below the all time highs. OK, we've seen it before. We've seen quick 15, 20 percent drops to the downside. It can happen. But I, I, I really feel most traders, but specifically beginners, but most traders really are not the best equipped to be shorting and shorting and shorting and shorting when we are in a bull market, when we are in all time highs, you're probably better off remaining long and chill, looking for higher prices. And if you really want to short, wait for some weakness. Again, do I always do that? No, but I would not personally refer to myself as a, as a beginner trader, right? So, <laughs> you know, I've been doing this over a decade, you know, coming on, what, 14 years doing this. So I've, I've got the experience that sometimes I want to snipe an all-time high short. Well, I'll try and snipe an all-time high short. Uh, and if you want to see that, then of course, if and when I take a short, I will be the first to update in the Discord. This is where I post my updates first about the trades, what I'm looking for, the reasons why I'm taking them. And, you know, you could have secured a short from that previous all-time high, taking it down, closing in major profits, opening along and bringing that trade. We are still sat in right now from $60,000 to now $73,000, right? So these are the places where I update first. This is the Champions Discord section. So with that, I want to bring this video to a little bit of an end, okay? I want to summarize briefly what we've gone through here. We have gone through the previous all-time high, how we got a large shop to the downside, closed the shorts in profits, remain back into that long and chill, bringing us up to where we are now, where we're seeing a lot of longs and shorts opening. I personally feel the majority of people should be leaning bullish and looking for higher prices to come. If you really want to lock into a short, trade the lower term time frame range or wait for a sign of weakness. OK, but higher targets are be to be expected. I personally am in no short trades right now. I am in long trades, a lot of them, and I am looking for higher prices. Um, you see all the millions of shorts that have opened over the past hour, few hours, probably going to get stopped out as we breach this high. This is the problem, right? All those multi millions of shorts that opened here, they're going to have their stop loss here. That's why if you want to short, you're way better off waiting for the take of the high. Okay, at least then you have much higher liquidity level of shorts getting stopped out 
okay, which stops getting shorts getting stopped out equals a long trade at market, right? And with that long trade at markets, well, then you can feel your short trade a lot more simpler. Why? Because you have a clear invalidation entry trigger. And that's the whole point of this game, right? Clear invalidations, clear entry triggers. That is how we make profits by following a plan, remaining patient, not trading in the middle of the range, not trading out of emotions and FOMO or, or fear, but having a plan, having a setup, waiting for it to play out, remaining patient, trading the reaction, and honestly making profits, a lot of it at that. Okay, so if you want to be a champion, if you want to be involved in this, you know where you can get it all, via chartchampions.com. I say thank you ever so much. Shout out to Scott, what a what a lovely PL curve that is, my friend. And um, yeah, if you want the, see all the new plans, if you want the trading live streams, the education, then you can get it all via chartchampions.com now. Thank you ever so much. You know where to see me over in the Discord. And I finally bid you a farewell. Thank you. And I will see you soon. Cheers, everybody. And that's me signing out. Goodbye.